it's winter, it's February, it's cold, therefore to get a bit of heat in these cold winter months, I've headed south to Spain, and more precisely the capital of the Andalusia region. To a city which is steeped in history, culture, and boasts around 3,000 hours of sunshine a year, being one of the warmest cities in the whole of Europe. This is Seville. So the first stop on tour of Seville is this place, Plaza de España. Plaza de España was originally built in 1928 for the Ibero-American Exposition of 1929 to showcase Spain's industry and technology exhibitions. Today, it's one of the top sites to see in Seville. It's a little touristy, but don't let that put you off as the buildings are not to be missed. This place is even featured in a couple of films, including Star Wars Episode 2, where it was used for exterior shots of the city of Thede. Also, if you want to catch a bit of flamenco dancing, you've got a good chance of seeing a performance or two here. So this place is pretty cool, the building is amazing. Uh, it's a nice place just to kind of chill, hang out, that kind of thing. I like. So next on the tour of Seville is a square which has a big bit of modern architecture in it, known locally as the Mushroom. So let's go and take a look. This is Setas de Sevilla. It's a great bit of modern architecture. The views from the top are amazing. You can see all over the city. If you want to see something a little different, then head here. This place is made completely out of wood, apart from the two concrete columns which hold the lift shafts. The feature takes up the whole of the square it sits in and is a very unique bit of architecture. Now, after all that sightseeing, I was getting a little bit hungry. Spain offers some great food and Seville is no exception. The city offers lots of choices, from restaurants to cool modern gourmet markets to sandwich shops selling Spanish tocadillas. There's also old school tapas bars serving Spanish dishes as well as traditional markets selling fresh produce. And of course, you'll find lots of places selling Spanish cured meat. Obviously, not for any veggies or vegans out there, but if you like meat, you'll love this. But seriously, there are restaurants catering for all tastes and diets, so do not worry, you won't go hungry. I opted to try some traditional tapas. Okay, right, so in Spain, so obviously we're gonna try a bit of tapas. Uh, Sevilla's got loads of places to get tapas like anywhere in Spain. Uh, so we've gone for some old favorites, got some anchovies, some potato bravas, and some croquettes. So let's try some, let's go for the potato bravas. So, goodbye. So I'm back at the hotel, and a nice hotel it is too. The room is pretty good, but check out the roof terrace. Okay, it's got a pool and a bar. And on a day like today, when it's 24 degrees, it's a perfect place to kick back with a beer and enjoy the sun. Good morning. Okay, so it's day two in Seville. Let's get dressed, let's get ready. Let's go and explore. Seville has absolutely loads of great places to visit and one of the top attractions which you may have heard of is Seville Cathedral. However, one place I really wanted to check out whilst I was here was the adjacent Palace de Alcazar. So this is the Palace of Alcazar, which is one of the main, or if not the main thing to do in Seville. It's a big palace complex with gardens too, and it is a beautiful place. It's really, really worth a visit. Um, the queues can be quite long though. It took me 45 minutes to queue up today on a Monday morning, and it's in February. So if you come in the summertime, I'm possibly looking to book in ahead because it would be so hot, you would probably die. Oh my God, how did he die in Seville? He was queuing for the Palace of Alcazar. What he would have wanted. This royal palace is still in use today and is used by the Spanish royal family whenever they are in town. The Alcazar has a range of different architectural styles throughout, reflecting the history of the buildings. The interior too is something to see, with some stunning tiles and decoration. There's even part of the palace which is underground and nice and cool if it's a bit warm outside. The gardens are vast and lush and with so many features. From a maze to fountains, you may even see a peacock or two.
Okay, so I'm feeling a bit peckish and I hear that there's some nuns in Seville who will give you some sweets. So this is the monastery de San Leon Leandro? Leandro? How do you say it? So this is the monastery de San Leandro, which is where you can get the sweets from the nuns. So let's go and see what we get. So there are a few convents in Seville where the nuns sell sweets and confectionery to earn a living and this was just one of them. It's a bit of a strange concept, so you press a bell, wait for a voice behind the screen to take your order, as the nuns are cloistered and therefore avoid direct contact with the public. You put your money on a turntable, wait a little, then you are given the sweets you ordered prepared by the nuns. I opted for yamas. Okay, so this is yamas, it's an egg yolk with sugar on it as well. It's pretty nice, it's pretty good. Okay, so that was a bizarre but kind of cool shopping experience. Putting the money down and then getting some sweets of a person you don't even see. But the sweets are pretty good and uh, it goes, all goes to the, the monastery or the convent. So this is pretty good. So yeah, and a bit unique. So if you're in Seville, give it a try. It's quite good. Now, one of the reasons I headed to Seville in winter was as it's one of the warmest places in Europe. I was hoping for a bit of sun. So far, so good. Okay, so what's Seville like in terms of temperature? Well, it's currently 23 degrees and it's very, very hot. So in terms of a winter sun destination, it's definitely somewhere where you can get some hot weather in February. The average is about 19, 20, I think, but it's been 23, 24 while I've been here. So maybe I got lucky, but it's definitely cool. Now, it was my last night in Seville. I'd been out on my first night in the city, and unfortunately, I didn't have my camera with me, which is just as well as I had one too many to drink. However, there were loads of places to grab a drink and a party. I'd say to head to the bars in and around Almeria to Hercules, and I was recommended to go here by a local I met, and I must say the area didn't disappoint. However, on the last night, I opted for a more chilled evening, trying out some of the tapas bars in the old part of the city. I'm so civilized. So what are my final thoughts on Seville? Well, I really liked it. It's a city with an exciting atmosphere, with plenty to see and do, and with some great food and drink as well. In terms of a winter sun destination, from my experience, it was great. Not too hot while sightseeing, but still warm enough to enjoy the city and to soak up a bit of sun. Check it out, you won't be disappointed. 